Hello, welcome to Yoga and Movement with Maud. My name is Maud Moreno, author of the book, Workplace Wellness Wins, A Handbook of Healthy Habits for the Busy Employee. That's you. I am a registered yoga teacher, mindfulness facilitator, and movement advocate. Whether you got here through the book or through a search, welcome. But before we begin, kindly step away from your workspace into a quieter area. This ensures there are minimal distractions and that your practice today can transpire in a more peaceful environment. But if that's not in the cards, just step away from your workspace or your desk about three to four feet away. That creates a separation between your professional workspace and your personal wellness space. Now let's begin the movement exercise called name a joint and move that joint. Let's begin. Let's get up on our feet. And this is where you can actually get support from a chair or your work desk anytime you want with these moves. With name a joint and move that joint, we are going to name a joint from the top to the bottom of the body and then move it. So have your feet right underneath the hips, soften at the knees, Relax your shoulders and arms by the sides. Take a deep inhale through your nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> and let's begin. Let's begin with our jaw by just opening and closing the mouth. And then start to chew an imaginary chewing gum. Helps release tension in the jaw area. Now let's move on down to our necks. So just dip your left ear towards your left shoulder. Inhale center, exhale the other way. Come back to center, inhale, and then do that one more time. Inhale center, go the other way. Come to center and just rotate your neck towards your left and towards your right. Starting to feel loosey-goosey in the neck. We're not going to spend a lot of time in these movements. And so we're going to get as much as we can with these little movements that we have. It doesn't have to be big. Come to center and start to look towards the ceiling. And then tuck your chin towards your chest, feeling a stretch in the back of the neck. Let's do that a few more times. Make sure you have a nice straight spine. Let's start to look down. And then let's make circles with our neck, perhaps three circles in whichever direction you want to start, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. And like I said, you don't have to overstretch it, just stretch enough to feel enough. Because we're not going to be spending a lot of time here just doing enough kind of an optimal approach so that we can get a lot of movement in little time, as I'm sure you might be between meetings or between tasks in your to-do list. Nice. All right. Let's pay attention to our shoulders. Let's start by bringing our shoulders up, bring them back, down and forward, up, back, down and forward, up, Back, down, and forward one more time, just like that. Circumduction, that ball and socket joint, wants to make that circular motion. All right, let's bring the shoulders up towards the ears, elevating it. You can do that on an inhale. And then exhale, bring them down. Do that a few more times. Inhale up. Exhale, one more time. And bring them down. And now let's just bring our hands in front of us. We're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together in retraction and then round our upper back to bring them apart. Slowly bring them towards each other. Round them away from each other. Squeezing them in towards. Rounding them away. One more time. And you can do this a little faster if you want. And there you go. 
Now let's lift our shoulders up and then bring them back. Just doing some extension and flexion here. Up and back. One more time, bringing them up and back. Just some flexing and extending of the shoulders come to center. Now let's pay attention to the spine. This is where you can ask for assistance from your chair. You can put your hands on your armrest or on the seat, whichever is comfortable. Feet are still underneath the hips. And let's just articulate the spine, arching on an inhale, exhaling on the rounding. Again, your hands can be on your chair or your desk, or you can even be on your thighs like this. One more time. Inhaling and exhaling. And as you come up to center, we're going to twist towards your right here. Left hand on your right hip, right hand on your left hip, and then slowly twist. Take a full breath. And then slowly go to the other side. Twists are so good. That ringing motion. Always good to do in the middle of the day. Come to center. Now the elbows, you can just do a simple bend and extend. Again, feet underneath the hips. Get that nice stance. And then from the elbows, let us move our wrists here. So interlace the fingers together and make figure eights with your knuckles. And just maybe remember which direction you went <laughs> because we are going to reverse it. And you can even do some stretches, opening that palm, fingers down, letting the other hand help it. Feeling that stretch right there in the palm, the bottom of the wrist, and then flipping it over with the back of the palm facing forward, fingers facing down. Let's do the same on the other side, feeling that stretch. You can even feel the resonation of the stretch towards your forearms, and then palm uh, palms towards you, fingers down. Nice. Give it a little shake, shake. Now let's stretch our fingers and even get the middle of the hands to touch each other. And while you're stretching your fingers and just even getting the fingers to touch each other and then the heel of the hand. Fingers, heel of the hand, fingers, heel of the hand. And come back to center. Have a little shake. Now we're going to get into our hip joints. Again, they're a ball and socket relationship. Let's start by lifting your right knee up. You can always interlace your fingers like this, or you can always ask for the help of a chair like this. This is called hip flexion. And then go to the other side, lifting it up. Finding some balance, start to lower it. And let's go the other way. You can catch the foot and then really opening that hip in extension. But see if you can keep this uh, extension happening without having to round the spine or bringing this back. You can just stay here kind of in the middle line. If you can't reach towards your foot, you can always plant your foot towards the arm, sorry, the seat of your chair like this. And you can be on your desk. Let's go the other side, either catching that foot or you're on that chair. You can even type away <laughs> if you want. And then let's open up the hip to the side and start here with your left. And then do the other side. And let's do some circular motion. You know I was going to do that. Get that circumduction, right? Just make that circle. And again, it doesn't have to be the biggest or the, um, the deepest range of motion. You can just do enough, you know, to feel enough change in your body from all that sitting or maybe even standing that you've been doing. Again, let's do the other side. Or go this way. And take your time. You know, if you want to do this longer, you can always hit pause. And um, do it for as long as you want. And again, office clothes may get in the way. We're not wearing our stretchy leggings, right? So 
do the best you can. I feel uh, even a bit of limitation and restriction in the pants I'm wearing now, but it's completely fine. Anything is better than nothing. All right, let's pay attention to our knees and let's just bend and extend. Maybe an opportunity to do some hamstring curls here, but we're paying attention to the joint, the knee joint. And then you can always just stand on one leg and flex and point. This kind of hits the ankles and the toes at the same time, doing some ankle circles. Again, paying attention to which direction you defaulted to and then going the other way. And then do that on the other side. Maybe ankle circles or flex and pointing, whatever feels good to you. And let's go back to the other side. If you're wearing shoes like me, you can just spread the toes the best effort you can, just giving them room to breathe, right? Giving them a little bit of a break. Or if you want, you can always take off your shoes and also like spread your toes and take this opportunity to just let them breathe, <laughs> let them release. And that depends on your office environment. If you're working from home, obviously you can do this more freely, but in the office, just use your discretion. <laughs> Put in your shoes again. And if you want to continue moving, again, hit pause. Otherwise, just get your feet underneath the hips once again, have a little bit of shake in the body. And let's end this with an inhale, lifting your arms up. Exhale, if you can get your palms together to heart center. That just gets you back to your center and gets you to ground again before you get back to work. Pat yourselves in the back. Congratulate yourselves for taking a few minutes, a few moments to prioritize your well-being, get breathing and get moving before you tackle the rest of your day. So thank you so much for taking time for yourself and taking the time to have me as your guide for some name that joint, move that joint movement exercise. I hope to see you soon. Bye.